So Exercise tells them to save it is well underway now. Most of the guys from the Canterbury staged here at Camp Rocky, where everyone got fed, accommodated and prepped to deploy into the field. So the NSC or the National Support Element is there to liaise back to New Zealand and also to the guys out in the field. So um, for example, if we're wanting to get food or information back from New Zealand, um, it will come through us and then we'll direct it through. One of the ways we can get the goods out to the guys will be uh, via the NH90. We just recently done a underslung to get tyres and um, gas canisters out to the guys out in the field. So this is the first time we have deployed the NH90 overseas and we're conducting trials and development to get them around the South Pacific and around the world. So it's really exciting for us to be able to bring the NH90 to Australia and operate in such an exercise in that uh, multinational coalition environment beside a lot of really exciting and uh, high-tech equipment. So to get us uh, to this point, um, we've done a lot of tests and evaluation and we'll be continuing to refine those procedures. So each flight we'll go on, we'll be looking to um, take our lessons learned, adjust our procedures and apply them the following day. So we're pretty lucky on uh, Three Squadron at the moment. We've got a few guys with overseas operational experience. So in my, uh, in my position as a very junior pilot, just trying to soak up as much as possible from those guys. So we're going to be putting these aircraft through their paces and uh, developing our procedures. It's all quite new and quite different and a really good experience for us as operators. And um, it's a good chance to apply all the things we've learnt back home and, um, and just apply them in a different setting. Good fun.